This is N1 Industrial Electronics. We're on chapter seven called Capacitors. Please continue to like, to share, and to subscribe to my YouTube channel. There are many different types of capacitors, such as non electrolytic capacitors, which may consist of mica, paper, polyester, or polystyrene. In terms of the construction of capacitors, a capacitor is created out of two metal plates and an insulating material called a dielectric. The operation of capacitors, we can use a circuit diagram to help us understand. We have a DC power source connected to a capacitor. The negative plate is plate A and the positive plate is plate B. Here we have a charging waveform with time on the horizontal axis and voltage on the vertical axis. Let's look at the charging of a capacitor. Electrons flow from the negative terminal and accumulate on plate A. Electrons moving away from plate B creates a deficiency of electrons, leaving it positive. The capacitor is fully charged when the capacitor voltage is equal to the terminal voltage. Now, in terms of discharging of a capacitor, we find that as the negative plate loses electrons and the positive plate gains electrons, eventually there will be no charge left and the voltage across the capacitor will be zero. Before we approach some calculations, just a reminder of the different quantities and units. Using this number line with zero at the center, everything to the left will be positive and everything to the right will be negative. Kilo is 10 to the exponent of three, mega 10 to the exponent of six, giga 10 to the exponent of nine, tera 10 to the exponent of 12, milli 10 to the exponent of minus three, micro 10 to the exponent of minus six, nano 10 to the exponent of minus nine, and pico 10 to the exponent of minus 12. Here we have a formula to, to calculate the capacitance in farads. It would be the amount of charge in coulombs divided by the voltage across the plates. Our first calculation, calculate the charge of a 20 picofarad capacitor when the applied voltage is 240 volts. So the unknown factor is charge, which is measured in coulombs. It'll be the capacitance, which is 20 times 10 to the minus 12, as it's picofarad, multiplied by the voltage. And simplified, that would give us 0 0.0048 micro coulomb. What are the factors influencing the capacitance of capacitors? The distance between the plates, the size of the plates, and the type of dielectric material. There are many different types of capacitors. Here we have an aluminium electrolytic capacitor. The aluminium electrolytic capacitor is made of two aluminium foils, an aluminium oxide layer and electrolytic paper. In terms of the advantages, they are cheap, readily available and good for storing charge. However, the disadvantages, they have a large leakage current value tolerances and a lim limited lifespan. Here we have a head electrolytic capacitor, a film capacitor. Here we have a mica capacitor. These capacitors use layers of thin sheets of mica as the dielectric. A ceramic disc capacitor. The ceramic capacitor is made of ceramic material and titanium barium as the dielectric and is mainly used in high frequency applications. And we also get variable capacitors. Now to calculate the value of the total capacitance when capacitors are connected in series. And it's important to remember that capacitors in series behave like resistors in parallel. Yeah, we have three capacitors in series with two microfarad, four microfarad, and eight microfarad. We're gonna use the formula as though they were resistors in parallel with one over capacitance total is equal to one over C1 plus one over C2 
plus 1 over C3. Therefore, 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8. And that would give us 7 over 8. But now, in order to get the capacitance total, we must invert the 1 over capacitance total. And that would give us a total of 1,143 microfarad. Now, to calculate the total capacitance in parallel, we'll use the formula as though they are resistors in series. So we have three, res three capacitors connected in parallel with 1 microfarad, 6 microfarad, and 20 microfarad. And very simply, we add them together as though they were resistors in series. C1 plus C2 plus C3 would give us the capacitance total. 1 plus 6 plus 20. And that would give us a total of 27 microfarad. Thank you very much for watching this video. And don't forget to like and to share. Thank you.